game is showing that are you going to be reviewing? Zipline. So here is Zipline in his uh, Cybertronian. Um, this is more of a Cybertronian, uh, like a private jet. So here he is Zipline in his pr Cybertronian private jet mode and. This is one of the best smaller figures that I've ever made, considering that the robot mode is a little bit sketchy, and he's not as sleek as I would like to, him to be in robot mode, however, he is very, very sleek in jet mode, as you can see. Um, yeah, I got some, I put some panels on here, I don't know why, I just thought it'd make him look a little bit better. I do wish... That the wings were a bit f more forward, but that is simply to how he transforms, as well as being uh, it being Cybertronian. I added these uh, slope pieces. To, um, I don't know. I just thought it'd look really cool just looking at it head on, and you see this. Nice, very sleek looking uh, jet here. And you can see me fiddling with parts. I mean, it's just trying to make it look good on camera. So, yeah, um, really cool figure. Um, I will make a tutorial for this because um, I don't know. I really like this video. And I forgot to do one thing. Excuse me for a second. So there we go. And yeah, he looks really cool. Um, he does come with a flight stand. Um, well, of course he does. Because he's a jet. And I made him. And because I can. So here's his little flight stand. And first thing off the bat, uh, you're going to notice that it's very, very simple. And... Second thing you're probably going to notice is, holy crud, that's big. Um, yeah, it is big. I mean, I couldn't find only any 4x4s or anything like that. Um, second of all, it's very simple because this guy is very simple. And I couldn't find any way to connect it except for that. So, yeah. Uh, now, how you connect this is, you can see that there's studs on the bottom right here, and there's ports on the bottom right here, top right there, whatever. And you just gotta line that up, and... Now, it can be a bit tricky to get on there we go and there you have the little flight stand and that looks really cool I mean yeah you can adjust it just a little bit without breaking stuff so yeah there you go and now for comparison just just because here is the flight stand that I made for uh, Fast Forward. So yeah, I have that. And here he is with a minifigure. There he is with a minifigure. So yeah, let's get down to transformation. And let's just take this off. Make everything look good. Get that junk out of the way. And let's get down to it. So what you want to do first is you want to just fold these out for right now. And there you go. You've almost transformed the arms. You want to rotate the hands out, which I forgot to do. And that's why I paused. And that's why you can obviously see that uh, back then. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to just bring all this down. Like that. And obviously these will be the legs. Um, you want to bring, uh, you want to bring up this section, you want to flip out the head, and there you go, you got some stuff going on. want to bring that up, 
uh, you want to take this piece and you want to bring it all the way back here like that then bring the cockpit up near the chest bring this down bring that panel down so it kind of forms his uh, the top of his chest and fold the legs like they should fold down the arms and there you go and there you have a little gosh zip line in his robot mode and he doesn't want to stand right now one he doesn't have feet i could not get feet on this guy i could probably like make some put some cheese slopes on him but still I can't put, uh, like, jumper plates on him for, like, feet. So, you have to kind of balance him. Uh, but still, nonetheless, very cool. Um, yeah, he's fat. And that's one of the worst things I li don't like about him. I wish, it, I wish it was on the back. And it would be a whole lot more clean. But no, it just came out to be on the front. But that's okay. I like the jet mode. I like the robot mode, kind of. Um, one thing he can do, which is kind of weird and kind of difficult, if you just bring out this piece, he can look into his chest. It's a miracle. And you can just fold that down, and that can be his robot mode, but no. I just, I just like it a little bit better like this. Because originally I had just take off the head for right now originally i had made it to where it looked like this and what the heck is this supposed to be okay so i just flipped around the head thought it would look a little bit better i mean you got shoulder pads he's a nice a nicely done figure in my opinion nonetheless I'm trying to get him to stand which is a very difficult unfortunately and like i said i'll probably end up putting some feet on him one way or another so now for comparison um here he is with a uh, smokestack um just because here he is with uh fast forward so there you have that. And they're about the same head level. I mean, this guy's kind of sloping over and this guy's standing straight up as he can. But still, I think they're about head level. I'm way off, probably. There's a minifigure for comparison. So there you have that. And yeah, so yeah, uh, we can get down to the tutorial now. So here we have... Um, Shoot. Zip line. Uh, halfway disassembled, and we'll go over each section individually. Um, so we'll start off with the easiest section. Um, this basically explains itself. It's two of these robot arms and two of these clips. And you want it, <clears throat> want it oriented like that for vehicle mode. Uh, this one, also very explanatory. Um, you want these type of clips. Uh, my camera will focus. There we go. You want these type of clips. 1x4. Put that on there. Another one of those clips. Uh, you want the cockpit up there. And one of these robot arms. And there you go. There, there's that. Um, and the arms... Um, you need one of these, uh, hinges. Uh, you need one, another one of those clips that we showed in the leg. We need one of these clips, a 1 by 2 with that thing on the end. And then some tile pieces on the, on the top if you want. And then you need, um, one of these double bar thingies. I mean, of course you could re-modify that to be, like, one of the uh, one of those clips, and then 
You know what I'm talking about. You can you can figure that out on your own. Be a savage like that. I'm kidding. Uh, so, I have that. <clears throat> and finally, the last section. Uh, you need one of these clips. You actually need two of them. And you need to put a stud on there for the head. It can be whatever color you want. You need two of these robot arms. Two of these uh, hinge pieces. You need one of these. You need uh, two of these. Or if you have one that's just one piece. Then you can put that on there as well. Um, the only reason that it's colored like this. Is because I didn't have the exact pieces that I needed. So yeah. Daggummit. <laughs> So, to start putting this together, you want to take this piece and you want to take the robot arms and just just put that, that, that. I'm going to put this together like that. And that should form that. And oh my gosh. Want to fight me today, huh? Just... Okay, that's correct. So, you want to take this piece next. You want to just put it on there like that. And there you have him in his vehicle mode. There you got a uh, uh, zipline in his vehicle mode. And yeah, um... Yes, very nicely done figure, in my opinion. Definitely build him if you have the right pieces. Um, uh, this one piece in the back can be easily modified. Um, so, yeah. can You can easily build this guy if you have the right parts, which... All of you should. If you don't, then you're not... You're not a Lego builder yet. So, yeah. There you go, and I probably just offended a bunch of people, saying they have very few parts, and they still have built a very cool things. But that's okay. Um, so, there you go. Here is, um, my latest creation of Zipline, and this is Troy, signing out.